Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today, we're going to be working on skills unit three, lesson 14. And by the end of the lesson today, you should be able to blend words with two or three sounds, read the tricky word three, and spell three sound words. Let's get started. All right, we're going to start our day by blending. Remember, all the words that I say have something in common, so listen closely. This is a fun one. All right, you ready? The first word has two sounds. Moo, moo, mm, ooh, moo, good. The next word has two sounds. Nay, nay, n, a, nay, good. The next word has three sounds. Hiss, 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 hiss. Great job. The next word has two sounds. Purr, 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 purr. Good. The next word has two sounds. Ba, ba, b, a, ba. Very good. The next word has three sounds. Chirp. Chirp, 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 good. The next word has three sounds. Buzz, buzz, b, a, z, buzz, nice job. And the last word has three sounds. Bark, bark, b, r, k, bark. Nice job blending today. So the words are Moo, nay, hiss, purr, ba, chirp, buzz, bark. What do all those words have in common? That's right. They're all animal sounds. Great job. That was a fun one, right? Good. All right, now it's time to review our sounds. You ready? Let's say the sounds together. M, mm, a, t, d, a, k, g, e. Nice job with those sounds. Round of applause. We're doing so good with these sounds. All right, so today we're going to practice spelling some words. I'm going to tell you a word and we're going to spell it out together by sounding it out. So the first word is got. And don't worry, the sound will come up on the screen. You ready? Got. G, A, T, got. Very good, that's how you spell got. The next word is mad. Mad. M, A, D, mad. Good job. The next word is tag, tag, t, a, g, tag. Great job. The next word is did, did, d, i, d, did. Excellent job. The next word is mat, mat, m, a, t, mat. Great work. The next word is cat, cat, k, a, t, cat. Nice job. The next word is dim, dim, d, e, m, dim. Nice job. Let's do one more. The last word is dog, dog, d, a, g. Dog. Great job spelling. Round of applause. Okay, so yesterday we learned about tricky words. So we're going to review. That means, you know, go over the words that we've learned already. We're going to practice them because practice makes perfect. And the more that we see them, the more we remember them. Okay? So this tricky word is one. And this tricky word is two. Great job. Now, how many dots do you see on the screen? How many dots? 
That's right. Three. One, two, three. Three dots. So here's one way we can see three. Now, this is another way that you can see three, but it's as a number. And here is our new tricky word, three. Our new tricky word is three. Three is a tricky word because it does not play by the rules. Remember, those tricky words, they just don't follow the rules. They don't play by the rules. So that's why they're tricky. And remember, we underline it. We underline the word because we know that we can't sound it out. We just have to remember how to say it. So our new tricky word is three. Say the word three with me three times. Three, three, three. Good job. Three. So here we have our picture reader again. Remember, our picture reader has our tricky words in it along with some pictures. So we're going to be reading words and pictures. Our new tricky word is right here at the top. So what's this word say? That's right, three. So let's practice reading three. You ready? Three ducks. Three fish. Three snakes. Three rabbits. Great reading. Oh my goodness, I see lots of tricky words on here. So we have to pay close attention and read the correct words. You ready? We'll do this slowly. Three bears. One owl. Two trees. One fox. Three ducks. Excellent reading, everyone. We have more to do. This time there's only one picture, so it's trying to trick us. Make sure you read those words carefully. You ready? Let's start up here. Two owls. One fish. Three frogs. Three rabbits. Great job reading. Can't trick you, huh? Another page. We ready? One bear, two trees, one snake, three ducks. Excellent job. You deserve a round of applause for doing that reading. Great job. Now we are going to match the words with the picture. So we're going to start up here at the top. I circled the word that we're going to do first. Remember, we sound it out from left to right, so we're going to blend. Blend using, using your arm. You ready? D, A, T, dot. Very good, dot. That word is dot. So we're going to put the word dot underneath the picture. All right, good job. The next word is this one. Let's blend it to figure out what it says. M, A, T. D, mad, very good, mad. So we have to put that word mad underneath the mad picture. There we go. All right, we have one more to do. So let's blend the sounds in this last word right here. You ready? D, a, m, damn, very good, damn. So let's put the word underneath the picture, damn. Great blending, boys and girls. Now I need you to head over to Skills Unit 3, Lesson 14, Google Form, and complete it. Great job today, everyone. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work.